after a large rainfall, you can kind of see this area just holds water right here. What we're going to do is put in some vertical drainage, a soak away and a catch basin as collection. Take a look and learn how to do this for a fraction of the cost of the French drain. So this is how we set this up. You can see we're using a milk crate. You can get that from Home Depot or Lowe's for about $10. You need a piece of solid pipe and a catch basin, $15 catch basin. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cut the sod off. Use your shovel, trace around the area. Take your time when you're cutting your sod so that it looks good. Remember, we're going to put the sod back when we're done. Now go ahead and pull those big plugs of sod out, leaving a good amount of dirt on the bottom. Next, go ahead and trench the area. If you have a wheelbarrow to haul this dirt away, great. If not, set it onto the plastic and you'll haul it away when you're done. Remember, the catch basin goes in the lowest point where we saw that deep water on the opening of the video. So we need to get down about two feet down to the hard pan. Here in Florida, we usually hit groundwater at 24 to 36 inches, and you can see that groundwater. Now we need to set up the milk crate as the soak away. We need to cover this milk crate with a geotextile fabric. And what we're going to do is pour the gravel around the outside of this crate. That makes the soak away. We are not going to fill the crate with gravel, rather leave it open so that the water can collect inside and make it a chamber. This way it will soak out through the geotextile fabric into the soil. Wrap the crate with your geotextile fabric. We will cut this to length and tape this together so that it stays put. Now create the opening for your pipe from the catch basin. You can use tin snips. They cut this plastic really easily. Lay out your geofabric across your hole. Next, go ahead and set your crate down inside. We're going to try to pour this around the sides of the milk crate. because We want it to soak away. Just we'll pour it in all the way around the sides. This was just some leftover gravel, but it's plenty. Then we're going to use a fresh bag to finish it off. Okay, we're ready to backfill. It's always a good idea to turn that shovel upside down and really pack it around things like basins or your uh, sump pit <laughs> because that way you know it's really tight and packed around and it won't settle anymore so from the catch basin we collected the water goes through that solid pipe over to our soak away which was the milk, milk crate and that is like a chamber so it's kind of like a dry well but it's more we really need to call it a soak away because the water is going to soak out into the soil. So even with a brief shower, you can see that the catch basin is collecting that water. Water is running into our catch basin over to the soak away and is being carried out through the gravel into the soil. Yeah, there's a little bit of pooling, but nothing like it was before. So a little bit spongy, but nothing like that flood. That milk crate is right here. And I can hear the water running down. It's working so good. Vertical drainage, a fraction of the cost of a French drain. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.